if you're looking to buy cheap FIFA coins, go and check out UFIFA and you can use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 8% off your order. What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another FIFA 16 video. Today we're doing something a little bit different though, it's not quite FIFA 16, we're not going to be playing games, we're not going to be opening packs, doing much gaming on this. We're just looking at this as a relation to real life football and we're going to be looking at the players that have the most expensive cars in real life. So as you can see on the screen, we have got a full squad here. We've got 23 players, 11 on the pitch, we've got the subs, we've got the reserves and the way I've worked it out is reserves down to subs from right to left is the cheapest to the most expensive and on the pitch the players at the top of the pitch are the players with the most expensive cars in real life and we're going to go through them one by one having a look at their cars which I think should be quite interesting because uh, I think pretty much everybody likes cars maybe not everybody's obsessed with cars but um, everybody likes to look, likes looking at some nice fast cars, right? So the first player is going to be Angel Di Maria. So he's obviously very high rated in the Ultimate Team. Very, very good player. Top class player. Um, I expect him to have a little bit of a better car, to be honest. There are some pictures of him with some other cars. I'm not sure if he's renting them or using them in different countries, like on a lease or something. But there's one that he definitely did buy, which is a Corvette Stingray, which is actually the cheapest out of all the players in this squad today. It's not cheap by any means, but in comparison, it's like a Nissan Micra compared to some of these guys' cars. But um, it's a really nice car anyway. I know a lot of people have this car as like their dream or goal car because at the end of the day, it's not out of this world expensive in terms of like as a goal to achieve uh, in their life. If that makes sense for a normal working person, not a footballer, obviously. Next up, we have Didier Drogba who has an SL65 Mercedes. It goes for around, I think, £140,000. I might be wrong by, you know, ten, twenty thousand uh, pounds I'm not exactly sure exactly how much it costs, but um, it's a really nice car. Double the price already of Di Maria's car. Next, we have the Chelsea player, John Obi Mikel, who's actually gone for a little bit more class. It's not quite a supercar, but it's like a GT car. It's a Continental GT. I really like these cars. They are very, very cheap, though. On the second-hand market, they plummet in price, uh, but obviously, he probably brought it brand new. It would have cost him about £130,000. Again, there's loads of optional upgrades you can get, but it's a really nice car, actually. Next up, we have another Chelsea player here, Cesc Fabregas, who's actually been seen in a few cars. I'm not sure if he owns all of them, but one he definitely does own is an Aston Martin. Vanquish, and I think it's the S model. Um, I'm not sure if you can only get an S model. I don't really know about Aston Martins that well, but he's also been seen in Audi R8s, and also I've seen him crash a Mercedes. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but by Google Images and other news online, it looks like he might have. Next up, we have Nani again, who has been seen in many cars, not just one car. I don't know if these players have got one car and then they sell it and they get another one, or if they actually have a few at the same time. But this guy's had been seen in a Lamborghini Gallardo. He's been seen in a Bentley Continental G. A Range Rover, I think it's just like a, a sports version, which again, they're pretty expensive. Uh, but the most expensive one is going to be the Lamborghini Gallardo, which should be about 140 to 150,000 pounds brand new, I think. Moving on to the subs now, we actually have Neymar here, who's obviously paid a lot of money, uh, but he's still pretty young and uh, he hasn't actually splashed out his cash too much on the materialistic things like cars. But one car he definitely does have is his Audi R8, and I think it's the GT version as well, which just makes it even nicer. The body kit on it looks amazing. I think it's the white one that he has. Uh, it just looks so clean. Another Barcelona player here, Arda Turan, who actually has a Mercedes, an SLS, which has the nice, I think they're called Gold Wing doors they're the ones that come out like that and they just they just look stupidly nice but you know what if you was actually a normal person driving this around had to park in a normal car park good luck getting out your car if you're in a tight space because someone you could just park in a nice space with no one next to you you park there two people park next to you and you wouldn't be able to get in your car and your passenger wouldn't either so not very practical but you're looking at about 150,000 pounds really nice looking car though very smart indeed the next four players all have something in common they've all got a Ferrari 458 and that is Falcao that's also Urza Walcott and Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard though has another Ferrari. He has a Scaglietti. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. There's probably like an Italian accent you need to put on it. But they're all very nice cars. All different colours and stuff. Uh, Walcott has been seen with Yanni. I was going through Google Images and if you don't know who Yanni is, he wraps cars, does like work on interiors, everything. He does everything for cars basically. I saw a picture from a long time ago with Yanni so he must have done some work on his car that's a Volkswagen though that's not his actual 458 last player on the sub bench we have is Wayne Rooney he actually has a couple of cars he has his uh, Vanquish which is the same as Fabregas I believe and also a BMW i8 which is uh, obviously again one of those gold cars it's one of those cars you see just like the R8 the GTR the Corvette it's kind of like just about 
achievable in a lifetime for a normal working person, if that makes sense. If you save up enough money, you could actually get that car one day. And it's so cool because it's a con not a concept car, but it looks like a concept car. Um, it's actually half electric, half petrol, and it just, you know, it's one of those let's save the earth cars, but it's also a supercar in its sense that it looks flipping nice and it's still pretty quick as well. Next up we have ex-Tottenham player Adebayor who has definitely been paid quite a lot of money in his football career and he's been seen again with loads of pictures of uh, different cars I'm not sure again if he buys one keeps it for like a month or six months or a year or something and then sells it gets another one or he just owns loads but definitely one that he has or he did buy was one for about £300,000 which was a Rolls Royce Phantom looks incredible it's a little bit of like a pimp mobile to be honest with you like I've seen one in London which is wrapped in like a, a suede velvety purple it is literally a pimp's car next up another player who likes their cars a lot you can tell because has been seen in so many different cars again he actually did crash his Audi R8 that is Balotelli he had a little bit of an accident um, I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see it but uh, it, it actually pains me to see these crashed supercars I think people get them at a young age or at a point in their life where they've got so much money and they just crash them really stupidly um, but he also has a camouflage Bentley Continental GT which you know, it's debatable whether it looks good or not, but at the same time, he's got so much money, who cares? Next up, we have Bale here, obviously plays for one of the top clubs, Real Madrid. He's going to get paid an absolute shit ton of money. Um, he actually has a real obsession with cars as well, or he used to. He actually had an Audi R8, he had Lamborghinis, uh, but he had to stop buying Lamborghinis or just generally supercars because they were actually playing up with his hamstrings. Um, if you don't believe me, you can go and check it online, put it in Google, uh, but he's actually not... I don't know if he has any anymore or he doesn't drive them. Maybe he has them, but he doesn't drive them so much. But yeah, I can understand it. as a footballer, you need to be in the top condition all the time. Next up, you'd be surprised because this player is actually quite low rated in FIFA and I don't really know how much he gets paid, to be honest with you. I don't know too much about this guy's uh, salary, but he actually does own an Aventador in camouflage. A little bit similar to the camo that Balotelli has, but on an Aventador. Now, Aventadors go for like £300,000. I was going to say coins then. Uh, I wish I went for coins, but... Extremely expensive. Um, there's some loads of pictures of this guy. Obviously, actually, he had it in satin black as well before. Looks so nice. The stores are one of my favourite cars, especially from Lamborghini. Now, talking about Lamborghinis, we actually have Oberfemi Martins here, who actually owns a Lamborghini Murcielago. That is my all-time favourite Lamborghini. They just sound amazing. I think they look the best. Because I, I think the new ones, they look really sharp. But I just think that Lamborghini Murcielago, it just has a little bit of an edge to it. Um, it's not quite as quick as the uh, Aventador. In fact, no, it's definitely not as quick. But, you know, it's not slow at the same time. Um, in terms of price, it could be around £250,000. It depends if you bought it brand new, secondhand, or whatever. On the topic of Aventadors, we have Sergio Aguero, who actually had... His event store, wrapped by Yanni, by Yanomize, uh, which is the same place that wrapped my car. So that's pretty cool to know that he's been to the same place as me. But again, around about a £300,000 mark. And they just look epic. They just do, don't they? On the right side here, we actually have Messi. And you'd be surprised. I'll put him in the squad here as a little bit of a trick. He doesn't seem to actually have cars as expensive as the people I've just been through. He actually has a Maserati. I'm not saying they're bad cars or anything, but you'd expect someone like him to have, you know, amazing supercars. But I think at the same time, his personality isn't that kind of personality where he wants to show off. Or maybe he just doesn't like, he's not obsessed with supercars the same as the other players. But um, it's a really nice looking Maserati anyway. What do you think of it? Now, this is where it gets stupid. On the left side here, we have Ibrahimovic. Now, this guy has a Porsche 918 Spider, which is a hybrid but it's ridiculously quick. It's actually £600,000 or at least well over that. Uh, it really depends where you're buying it, which country, uh, what specs you're going for. It can change the price dramatically on cars like this, but you're looking at well over £600,000. He's also been seen in other Ferraris. I think he's been in an Audi R8 as well. He's obviously got a load of money. He's one of those footballers that definitely likes to be seen in nice cars. Now, the top three here all have something in common. Benzema, Ronaldo, and Eto. Eto is on another level, though. They all have Bugatti Veyrons, which is like literally a million pounds or $2,000 at least. Now, Ronaldo actually has a La Ferrari, which I think is about 2,000 pounds, not 2,000, 2 million pounds, which is just, it's, it's called a La Ferrari. It's called a Ferrari La Ferrari. That just says something about how special that car is. But yeah, Eto has been seen with literally every other car that you'd actually want as a supercar. Like, it's literally been seen with everything, like Ferraris, Aston Martins, probably Audi R8 as well. He's had everything. I can't remember exactly the figures, but he was paid a stupid amount of money. There was a statistic, like, every minute he earned a certain amount of money. And it was just ridiculous how much he got paid. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. It's nice having a look at all these other supercars. It makes you dream 
one day you may be able to get one but um yeah as i said hopefully you enjoyed if you have drop a like on the video make sure to subscribe for some more and also leave in the comments below of some other suggestions as to what else i could do with what footballers have that you might be interested in seeing so yeah anyway i'll see you guys later Bye bye